What is going on there is Kapaski and welcome to your Corridor X7 tutorials. In this first tutorial, we are going to take the introductory part of Corridor X7. First of all, I would like to tell you the definition of Corridor. And, uh, oh, embarrassing, sorry about this one. Right. So, Corridor is a powerful graphic software designed by Corel Corporation for creating designs such as logos, ID cards, complementary cards, receipts, invoices, certificates, handbills, posters, and other graphic works. So you can go ahead and pause this video and copy the definition. Now for me, I'm just going to get started. Now this place said new document, which is creating a new document such like if you highlight here, just look at this place. If you highlight here, it tells you the meaning of what you are highlighting. It says start a new blank document with the default application settings. Now if you click, if you point to a uh, new from template, it tells you open the new from template dialog box, which gives you access to creative layout designed by professional artists and blah, blah, blah. Open recent, which this place is, if you have already done any job with Corel Draw, is going to appear here and the other things now this other side is what hints now if you click on when you when we open correct if you click on any tools just look at this hints uh, dialog box you are going to see the mini and the applications of each of these tools this place here is color palette this is where you get the colors that you use in working with uh, objects in correct draw all right so i'm just going to click on new button here on new then uh, this place is telling me create a new document then I'm going to call my anything that's what just popped into my head now then preset destination which is which is talking about the default colors that you want to use so I'm going to use correct default that you just give me the default colors here then the next thing is talking about later and later sorry sorry it's talking about size and size is talking about the kind of paper or the kind of uh, job you want to produce. If you want to produce envelope, you want to produce uh, posters, you want to produce uh, banners, this is where you choose the size you want to uh, create. So I'm just going to use later, which is kind of default. So this one is talking about the width. What is the width of your graphic design? What is the width of the uh, design you want to make? And what is the height also? So you set them here. Anyways, I'm going to use, I'm going to leave every other thing default here and click OK. So once you click OK, it pops up a new blank document for you. Now this point here, let me just highlight it so you see it clearly. This point here, I'll fill it color. This point that I fill color is called print area. The reason they call it print area is because if you after you are through with your designs, maybe you design something this place at this side or any of this side, it is advisable for you to take it inside this box. It is advisable for you to take it here so that it will be able to be visible for printing. Then this place is called work area. This is where you do your designs. So you can just increase it like this and do your designs here. After that, don't forget, take it to this place for a proper printing. Now, the next thing here is uh, the title bar, which is where the name of the application is written. Like as you can see, Cora X7, sorry, Cora Draw X7, and the name is what? Anything. This other one here is menu bar, which contains each menus that is essential or that is used in what? Cora Draw. Another thing is status bar. You have your status bar which contains some recent use icons like save, uh, open, redo, and the rest. Another thing is property bar. Property bar contains the properties of each of these tools. Yeah? Like for example, if you click on any of these tools, the property bar changes to the properties of that tool. That is why they call it property bar. Then, down here is... Um, the color palette. I've already said that this is where you get any kind of color you want in Corel Draw. As we are moving ahead, I will be showing you how to get other colors apart from these ones. And this 
other places hint box you can decide to close it but i like to leave it open because it's going to show me the many the uses of each of these tools here like for example if i click on this drop shadow tool it's going to tell me to add the drop shadow click object and then blah 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 so i just kind of like leaving it on now another place is this place the downside is telling you you can add a new page you can delete a page or like for example if you want to add a page just click on this plus sign see if you have page one page two you you can see the difference let me just do something for you to see the differences between each page oh sorry for that now in page uh, one we have this object while in page two sorry uh, okay see what i was saying if you didn't take it to this print area it will it will be visible in all of them in all the pages so in page one we don't have any objects but in page two we have this object so you can add more pages in case you are doing a magazine you know you'll be flinging pages so you can add pages from here and uh i think that is all for this tutorial like i said it was just an introduction to CorelDRAW x7 if you need any help um just visit my or just send me an email i'll drop my email so you send me an email all right but before i go don't forget to subscribe it's very important